Chapter 74 To W. C. White and Wife Battle Creek, Michigan, March 9, 1890 Dear Willie and Mary, Yesterday E. J. Wagner gave a most powerful discourse. I have heard from many who were present, and their testimony was unanimous that God spoke through him. Elder Smith was present, and they said, listened attentively. In the afternoon, we met in the office chapel. There was a large number present. Elders Olson and Wagner led the meeting. The Lord gave me a spirit of prayer. The blessing of God came upon me, and all knew that the spirit and power of God were upon me, and many were greatly blessed. I spoke with earnestness and decision, and many bore testimony, and some confessions were made. But the break was not complete, and we did not have that complete victory I desired. This morning we met in the East Room of the Tabernacle. A number of spirited prayers were offered, and many excellent testimonies borne. Then I spoke again. I was full, and poured out my testimony in warnings, reproof, and encouragement. There is a breaking away. We have meetings now that hold from half-past seven until nine o'clock a.m. for prayer and social meeting. Brother Olson's testimonies are sharpening up. We believe we shall see the salvation of God. Brother and Sister Prescott were present this morning. I have no breaks to put on now. I stand in perfect freedom, calling light, light, and darkness, darkness. I told them yesterday that the position of the covenants... I believed as presented in my Volume 1, Patriarchs and Prophets. If that was Dr. Wagner's position, then he had the truth. We hope in God. They expect Dan Jones today. There is a matter I wish to bring before you. Brother Wagner is almost persuaded to go to Texas and go on in company with Sarah and me to Fresno. I think it would be well for him to do this, for he may not have another opportunity so convenient and with so little expense. Write me what you think of this plan. I think it to be a good one unless you see some reason why it should not be carried out. Write me if you think Sister McComber would be wanted to be with Mary. She is, she writes to me, coming to our house this week to take her sister to the sanitarium for a surgical operation. Write me as often as you can. I do not know what to set Mary Stewart about. Brother Eldridge thought there was no place or work for Sister Clay for they have more than they can use now. I let her stay here for her board and keep, working on my writings. Captain Eldridge thinks this is the best thing that I can do, even if there was a place for her to take right hold of the class of work she intends to do. She is a woman I respect. I think we can keep Edna at work in copying for Fanny. If she does not do this, it will not be best to keep her, for we shall have no work for her to do. Now, Mary, you sent me a dress in the telescope from Colorado. I thought I had a yard of the goods just like the dress in the box with the fruit. I designed to make new sleeves of this piece of cloth, for my sack sleeves are distressingly small. If you see such a piece of goods, please send it to me by mail, and I will have the sleeves made from it. There was a hole burned in the goods by a hot brick. I felt quite certain it was in the box with the dress, but it may not be. Reba rides out every day and says she is growing stronger. She is always cheerful, makes no complaints. Much love to you, my children. To the little grandchildren, much love. And to Mother Kelsey and Mary. Mother.